welcome back i'm harrison and today i'm walking you through another process video where i walk you through how i make some of my art pieces this was a christmas gift for some very very special friends of mine i made them uh 18th century mushroom ketchup and i can't just give it to them in a mason jar i gotta do some fancy art labeling to sh prove to them that i'm an artist a little bit uh we all need the proof here's mine but um yeah, you'll see here, I got a little ambitious with the, my pouring. Um, and you'll see me noticing, I'm like, oh no, oh no, I think I did too much here. And uh, that's fine, That you know, that's fine. What are you, you going to do about it? But we bottled it up and now we're going to start ideating what we want our little art label to look like here in a second. So starting off with my little square symbol bits here where I'm just laying it out here. This is the first uh, breaking of ground as far as laying out a visual reference of what one concept might look like. The one I ended up going with was probably like concept number 12. I'm not showing you all of the concept ideations, but here's the first one and I'll show you the last one. Look at that desk. You could see the before and after of where we came from and where we're at right now. And let this be an example of like the madness in my brain at the moment. But this is the aesthetic I decided to go with. I always love to incorporate just a bit of purr, just a little bit of nature into my art pieces. And I wasn't gonna glue a branch onto a glass bottle. So I thought leaf veneers are the way to go. So I cut a little bit of a leaf veneer out and we're going to start adding a few other materials to see what looks good with veneers on a glass bottle. So here I'm incorporating my little wood bits that I think helped bring some depth to it. It gives it that artsy fartsy look that is crucial. Uh, where it's not just flat on the surface of the glass bottle, it kind of pops out at you. Those little wood sticks really help with that. And at the end of this video, you'll get to see a little bit in more detail the tools that I use to create this little piece, if you're interested. But right now, you know, here's a little process of like how it all came together. And I'm just like very delicately figuring out if this is the aesthetic that I want before I start gluing and assembling. So this is definitely an exercise in tediousness, but after laying down those symbols, I like it. And now it's time to the point of no return. I start to actually glue the veneer onto the glass jar. And unfortunately there is no command Z in this analog world of ours. So when I glue it onto the glass jar, I realize almost immediately, oh, it's a little crooked. And maybe, just maybe, this was the day before I left for Christmas, so I couldn't undo it. I couldn't be as much of a perfectionist as I wanted to be, but what are you gonna do? I start gluing my other bits onto it, and I, in my head, you can't see it, but in my head, I'm like, I can't believe it's crooked, but I think it worked out in the end. You tell me if you like it or not in the final preview towards the end of this video. Now I'm incorporating our little cordage, a little wax cordage to make that label kind of incorporated with the stem of the jar, but also to add a little bit more of that dimensionality so it's not just a sticker onto the surface. As you can imagine, it is very tempting to get uh, a little too noisy, a little too busy with the aesthetic here. So here in a second, I'm going to start adding my symbols, but also removing the cordage at the bottom and make it end where the wood sticks end on the veneer to give it complexity, but also maintain a degree of minimalism that we will bring back up when we make the back label. So working on the back label here, uh, you know, every 
you know, food product has got to have a back label. Uh, you would think I should make nutritional information or the calorie count, not me. I'm going to keep it as eccentric as the front and incorporate more symbols. But, but the, the addedness, the bohemianness, the dimension in the front, I wanted to balance that out with a little bit more minimalism in the back. So less is more is the name of the game of this little back piece to be an accessory, a compliment to what we did on the front. So our mushroom ketchup jar is done for better or for worse. And now it's time to clean up and remove all signs of the madness that you saw in those middle shots before we get into the final preview. Now here's the final piece. Yes, that little label is a little crooked. You tell me if you mind it. If you don't, you're my best friend. But here in a second, we'll go over the tools that I use to bring this to life. So of course you need little bits. You need those little symbol squares. That's fundamental to my expression. You got some wood sticks, you know, liquid barrier to hold the ketchup and the veneers you know that's our nature element and the go-to's the knife the funnel the ketchup itself uh the super glue and of course who can forget the little cordage that brought it all together so that's what i use thanks for watching this video i will see you in the next one i can't wait